What's up guys, welcome back to Sticks. Sorry about that, the weekend with the no sticks for those of you that were looking forward to it. I just didn't have time to record it, like I said in that little update video. Um, but we are back now, so have no fear. I will continue to fail my way through this game like a champion. A casual champion of justice and greatness. Uh, there's a dude right there. I'm hoping if I jump up here he can't see me. He can't see me. Good talk. Alright, so now we have this guy down here. Now, do I remember what we were doing? Not necessarily. I remember we were in the incinerator. We had just been to the archives. Um, we saw the big big map plans all over the wall. And I also remember... Um, there was a relic somewhere in here. Let's check our map. There's a relic somewhere in the incinerator. Apparently we can see it from this bridge is what I'm assuming this diagram means. And it looks like it's on some sort of conveyor belt that is going into the incinerator. Um, I see mushrooms. Maybe this means like water running down. So I'm not sure. I think, where are we? Um, I don't know where we are. <laughs> I think maybe it's somewhere over here and I think we're like somewhere over here, but on a higher level, something like that. Uh, when this guy comes back, I might, I might nab him. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we are about 40 meters away from our objective. And let's grab him. Let's carry him. Alright. I've been playing a lot of different games lately, just off camera. Um, there's a guy over there. So, hopefully... I'm not worse than usual, but I wouldn't put it past me to be worse than usual. Health potion. Some sort of shaft. There's an autosave, so we did something right. There's that guy working down there. Let us keep on keeping on. How are you doing on health potions? We are okay on health potions as well as vials of amber. Put this guy out. Perhaps hop up here, see what we have going on. Grumpy guy. Worker. Gold coin. See the gold coin. Um. This? Is this it? Is this that bridge that it was talking about? Hmm. I'm not actually sure where we are right now. I feel like we're in this area still, or over here, like, up here on this corner, perhaps? And that's the minecarts where they come in, so yeah, that's, we have to be over here. Um, so maybe it's not over here. Huh. Um, well, I will continue looking for it as I go through this level, but I don't, I don't really know how much time I'm going to dedicate to looking for it, as I don't really want to slow this LP down any more than necessary. I don't even want to think about what they're burning here. Trash, threatening letters, assassination orders, disappointing wives. <laughs> letters covered in finger marks that idiots think they're sending to their families. The unofficial history of Akanash. Bad conscience makes for damn good few. Trying to see if there's a, a nice way down there, but I don't really see one. Ooh, can we get up there actually? I'm curious. Maybe I shouldn't run around. Even though he sounds so cute with his little floppy feet. I'm gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Run and jump! Oh, oh we can. Alright, can we do anything up here? No. Nope, we're... Actually, can we... Or don't. Oh, I was focusing, that's why I was so quiet. Um, I felt good about that. Got off the quick knives. Got the guy going, but then once we were in our stabbing animation, of course there was the grumpy man with a hammer. Uh, so let's not try that again. Actually, let's go back down here. Alright, so what are we going to do about this? Well, we need to get down there. I guess we'll just go back over here and drop down and be boring. And not super cool or super fancy about it in any way. Um... 
Do we do anything with sand? No, nope, because that's that's a fire. That's not a torch. Good job, Midnight. Good job. GG. No re. I want that coin, though. Oh, he's coming back. Okay. I was going to jump down there and hide in the thing, but it'll be so nice when we get those aerial kills. Oh, man. I'm excited for that. I'm excited to get back there and level up. I guess I could jump down here and kill this guy. Where'd he go? Oh, he's still there. But we don't need to. As soon as he walks around, yep, yeah, we should be okay to do this and a little bit of this and some of this. And then he doesn't path over here, so I should be able to nab him once he has a sip of his water. He's vomiting, sir. Why are you vomiting? That doesn't seem very hygienic to just do it. Do you do that? You know what? We're going to let him live. We are going to science this to see. I quick save so I can just reload real quick. I want to see what he does. If he drinks and walks back over there and vomits, then this is terrible. My immersion is so broken right now. If he if he does this, I just I don't even know. Please don't vomit again, sir. Okay. Okay. My immersion is not broken, guys. It's it's not broken. I'm actually going to see if we can nab him right here. You should be able to, yep. I was worried that I might have needed to hold something. Oh no, he's got something on him. Can I drop him? Pick it up. Oh, we're full on throwing knives. Okay. Um, I was worried that I was going to have to hold the button like you do whenever you do these backstabs to make sure that it stays quiet. But that is not the case. We're going to go in here and... Yes, hold. Alright. Alright, so I feel like I know where we are, but just because I know where we are doesn't mean I know where um, the relic is. If I did, that would just be amazing. Is it actually dark enough in here? Can I just put him here? It's a little hard for me to tell because of the brightness. Uh, but I'm keeping it this way. Because I think it, it makes it a little bit more watchable on YouTube. Can I go in here? I can go in here. Hello, sir. Thank you for working near a cupboard. It would be nice if when you did the the muffle kill, if you just like kept holding it, if you could like drag them like they'd get thrown over your shoulder or something. We are getting ever further away from our objective, but this this could be promising. Could be promising indeed. See those little handholds on the walls, and it's like, why would I do that? I don't need that. Guy sleeping, guy watching the sleeping guy, and an archer. That it is so tempting to just push him off, but I don't think I could have. Why would you watch your friend if he's sleeping? No, don't, don't fall over. Sleep. Sleep with the fishes. Yeah, like, this dude down here, like, why? What is what is going on? There's a sleeping guy. Oh, that's not a, a soldier, it's a worker. Maybe he's, like, writing a report where, like, he's drawing his face so he can report him. Otherwise, he won't remember who he is. I don't know. These are the questions that will never get answered. Uh, so we were over there, and we came all the way around here. Yes. So if we were... No, we were over there. We were up there. Man, this place is confusing. Yeah, so we were up there. Up here. So now we're like over here. So maybe it's... Not that it matters that I kind of know where we are. It, it doesn't. I don't understand how I'm hidden up here. That's so bright. Um... Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter that I know where we are, just because I, I don't know where the relic is anyways. What is... Ooh, a gold coin. I want it, though. Ooh, poison! Wait, what? What happened? I, like, spit into it or something? I don't understand this at all. 
Okay, well, we're leaving, I guess. Oh! Okay, those are the beetles we saw earlier. I remember seeing them. They look, they look grumpy. They investigate and attack noises. Got it. Bad eyes. Fucking keen hearing. These critters are Robies are giant roaches that have mutated during contact with amber. They are blind, but they have very good hearing. Move around very quietly when they are near. Okay, so let's... We, we gotta go this way. I wonder if I can actually go up here. Can I fit through the... Probably not. Alright. Just sciencing. A little bit of science stuff going on. I feel like maybe the relic would be somewhere in this area. With these guys. That could be... That could be the case. I'm also curious if they are... Um... Can I kill them? If I could hit them with a throwing knife, if that would work. Alright, so let's check out this area. Looks like, you know what, it looks like we can go this way, so we're gonna go this way. I'm gonna save right here real quick, and then we're gonna... We're gonna see what's over here. Yeah, I know you're grumpy, but come do something, son. Come do something. Alright, I don't know where that sun came from. Okay, made it. Stuck it. Got it. Okay, we just skipped a room of them, I guess. He's grumpy about literally everything. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna come out here. <laughs> Alright. Should be okay. Looks like there's another little area over here we can get to, but we'll just go in right here. Seems alright. Oh! Can I roll? He hears the rolling. He hears the rolling. Okay. Playing hide and seek with brooches. That must be it. That's it. That's where the relic is. And there's a coin here that I just totally noticed right now. Like, just this very second. Okay. Leave me alone. Yeah, that's that's got to be it. There's the there's the mushrooms growing on the side, and the water trickling down. Um, I'm not sure what that is yet, but the relic is maybe that's saying don't go in there because there's the X over the door. Maybe it's like this area bad, but it says we can see this area from some sort of. Right there's the bridge. There's the bridge. Okay. And that looks like an opening down there. All right. Well, we're gonna go over there as soon as Gimpy over here decides to leave us alone. I wonder if that's an explosive barrel. Okay, let's... I'm curious. Can I, like... Yeah, it seems like I can kind of crouch walk a little bit. It's not with any of our platforming jumps. Haven't been playing any platformers lately. Alright, now the question is... Where on this giant beast of a machine is the relic? I'm assuming it's going to be down... But, I mean, that that could totally backfire. This looks promising. Oh, good. I'm going to bet it's in here with all these little bugs. In fact, I'm going to bet it's that over there by those little... It is. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe we... Maybe we make a clone, and then have the clone distract them and, like, kite them away. And then we'll... we'll ro Ooh, what's this do? That doesn't seem good. Plan. Okay, this is the plan. We're gonna make a clone, we're gonna kite them all into that room, and then we're gonna switch back from the clone to this guy, and lock them all in there. Alright, control the clone. One is return to the creator. Alright, we don't have that much time, so we need to, we need to kind of hurry. 
Okay, we have more time than I thought. Everything should be fine. Can, can these clones do distractions? Also, we are ugly, by the way. With, like, some weird beastie thing, can you? Got him. Oh, that feels good. I hope they're dead, because I want to go see if there's anything in there. <laughs> And we got that relic. Oh, man. After playing so horribly for so long, it feels so good to do something at least a little bit right. Let's go check out this room and hopefully not die in here. Probably shouldn't be sprinting, but everything should be fine. Is there anything magical in here? Is there maybe a coin over here? No, there's some little lever hatch sort of thing. All right, let's leave before the door decides to shut and kill us. Yes. That felt good, guys. That felt really good. Alright, let's head on out to the hideout. Oh, man. I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm trying to decide what to do next for a Let's Play or possibly uh, along with this one. And I'm... We could, we, we could have just gone out this way this whole time. How do we get up? Can I, like... Can I jump on that? Oh, up here. Yes, that would make sense. Okay, and then up here. Not up here. Okay, scary. Scary. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It was right there. Alright, everything's fine, guys. Everything's okay. Um, but yeah, I've been trying to think about what to play uh, either alongside this or after this, and I think what I'm going to do is make an update video. Uh, for those of you that like watching other stuff other than RimWorld, um, and then I'm going to put a few of my games in there uh, that I would be willing to play or, or do an LP of, and uh, we'll go from there. I'll let you guys like vote on it or something. But... For sure I'm doing uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, that's going to happen. Um, that's most likely going to be a, a drunk let's play. Because it's it's kind of a silly game. So I think it would be kind of entertaining if I was uh, a little bit drunk while playing it. Let's jump down in this gross looking stuff. Oh, that stinks. Guess I'm getting close to the hideout. Alright. I'll check up here real quick just to see if there's anything up here. I won't because I can't go up there. <laughs> Alright, well that's going to be this area done. I feel good. We got the relic. Um, that's going to be all of the atrium completed. We had the landing stage, we had the embassy, we had the archives, and then we had the incinerator area. Um, return to the hideout. That is our objective. We missed 15 coins, so not super great on the coins. 155 skill points. That feels pretty good. Um, we didn't get the book for Oskin. I couldn't find it. Um, I probably should have checked the library area better because it was probably in the library and not in the archives. But I figured that I needed to uh, escort Ector because I didn't think he would stop. But he did stop. It, it turns out he stopped. Didn't get any insignia because I'm I'm bad. <laughs> Akinosh's atrium achievement unlocked. Hey, you asleep? You better not die before I've been able to take care of you. <laughs> Answer the governor. Governor. Who told you of the existence of these plans? Who told you where they were? Speak! Who? Everyone. And no one. Sometimes you just have to listen to people thinking. And you, you think so hard, you humans. You prattle on all day long inside your little skulls. What are you going on about? Listen to people thinking. You still haven't understood? All those desperates who had the bad idea to taste amber. I hear their thoughts. I hear everything they think. And the elves, they're like me. They hear your guards thinking that they'd hope for a bit less boredom thanks to a small dose of this golden poison. It appears that smuggling is doing well. The elves have had your tower under surveillance since the beginning, Barrowman. Lies! You're making it up. Oh, really? Yet I can clearly hear your torturer thinking that this morning he sold the pipe of a prisoner to be able to pay for a little smuggled amber. And also, that his balls are itching. <laughs> there is no contraband in Akinash. Consummation of amber is prohibited. You're talking nonsense. Aaron, you will gather your men and inspect the bowels of the tower. 
I want to know the truth. But father, if the elves are spying on us, wouldn't it be better to focus on- Don't meddle in diplomacy. I'll make sure to summon the elf ambassador. And if they are watching us, he will answer for this betrayal. If you say so, father. And so you managed to get hold of the plans of Arkanash. Have you given them to the elves? Well, anyway, Querberus was the only one able to decipher them. No. I still had stuff to do inside your walls before returning to the World Tree. I heard that access to the heart of the tree, the bridge, was protected by a tamper-proof lock, and that you keep the only key in your apartments. So I said to myself, Hey, Rakash. If you hope to reach the heart of the World Tree, you'll need this key. Go visit this governor. I try not to dirty the carpets too much. Well, while I stuck up on throwing knives, I'll ask Ozcan how to enter the freaking fortress that is Governor Barrowman's apartment. I have to say that after seeing the intro cutscenes and then seeing that, uh, the artistic, stylized, just 2D uh, cutscenes. I prefer those a lot, a lot better, or a lot more rather. Um, I'm not sure why we can hide and extinguish our torches and stuff in here. Um, I'm kind of looking around to see if we can see any of those relics that we found, but I think we're gonna go have a chat with Oskin, um, and then we're gonna see about leveling up, and that's probably gonna wrap up this episode. Push, push the button. I know it's a little bit shorter. And you guys missed it over the weekend, but it feels like a good stopping point before we go to another another level. Where's Oz? Oh, he's down there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, unfortunately we didn't get his book. Hopefully he's not upset about it. Aha! Totally planned that. I didn't see that at all. <laughs> hey, look who's here. Did you find what you were looking for, my friend? And so, I'm off to Lord Barrowman's place. What? Did you spill some brains, or have you just got a death wish? You want to turn up at the big boss's place just like that? Well, I would have announced my visit with a hunting horn, but I left it in my other pants. Listen, friend. If you really want to go there, I might just know how to get you inside. I'll explain, if you'd just be so kind as to bring me back a small souvenir in exchange. You wouldn't know how to get to the heart of the tree by any chance, because it would save me time. Ah, uh, no. If I knew that, I would already have sold it myself. <laughs> the heart of the tree. Well, just reach right in the tree and grab it, old son. <laughs> well then. Okay, I'll see if I can find what you want. Spit it out! I know that Barryman has a secret room in his apartment, and I'd like to know what it's used for or what's inside. For someone like me, that kind of information is worth big money. Hey, finding secret rooms is what I do. Listen, every day Barryman gets a delivery of huge chests containing his clean clothes, food from his personal reserve, and documents that he has brought up from the library. All you have to do is to get inside one of the chests and be delivered to his home. What do I look like? Pastrami? Then again, I got nothing to lose. What is it you need me to get? I don't know. Anything that looks expensive. I've never set foot inside the governor's place, but there must be plenty. <sighs> okay, I'll see. Will that be all, my prince? No, there's a guy, Owain, the foreman of the reinforcement works, a crook at heart, like you and me, except that all of a sudden, the guy wants to go straight. He had a vision, <laughs> you know the type. Anyway, I don't know what's bitten him, but he threatened to inform on some of my guys if I didn't leave him alone. I get the feeling that a friend of yours is gonna have an accident. Yes, but more than that, I want to make an example of him. Something that says, when you do business with Oscan, it's for life or death. Bring his body back to me, and I'll arrange a small show in public. Damn, 
transporting a corpse. This is gonna cost you, buddy. I hope it's worth it. Sitting up to your ass in water all day long. <laughs> Don't worry about that. That is crazy. He wants us to actually transport a body. That's ridiculous. All right, so it seems like we're going to be delivered to the governor's mansion via a, a crate or chest. I kind of drifted off in that. I'm, I'm. <laughs> I, I have the gist of what we're doing. Um, basically, I was just kind of like. Uh, I was thinking, why didn't they hire a few people to do mocap? Like, could they not afford to do the mocap? Like, and also, do I not have the graphics up as high as they can possibly go? Um, but I'm not letting that stop me from enjoying the game because it's actually a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good game. They did a good job, is what I was trying to say. Along with, it's a good game. Um, I want some assassinate. Yes, kill aerial kill. Yes, 60 points worth it. Okay, this one, ledge kill or hanging kill, that sounds super useful too. Um, but let's check out some other stuff first. Equipment. Uh, three vials of acid are always at your disposal in the hideout. You'll be able to retrieve them between each mission. Uh, that could be good. That could actually be really good so we can um, dispose of corpses in case we can't hide them. Amber vision, I'm not actually using at all. <laughs> That's probably bad. Uh, cloning is... This actually sounds cool. You can order a clone to lay in wait inside a chest or cupboard and grab the first enemy that comes within reach in order to eliminate him. Um, that's tempting. Agility. You make less noise when you hit the ground. Could be good. Your rolls and dodges are more effective in avoiding... Eh, it's combat. I don't really want to get into combat. A sound will alert you if an enemy outside your field of vision is about to detect you or if a crossbowman targets you. I think I wanted these two. Maybe. I don't even use invisibility. I feel I feel bad. <laughs> I don't use the skills that we are provided. Mm. Well, that's while being invisible. That's not interesting. You know what is interesting though? Hanging kills. <laughs> and how do we unlock this tree? Maybe this unlocks like maybe it's a new game plus. Um, because it's got the world tree and we're supposed to get the world tree. I'm assuming this is what uh, a representative of the world tree, this art. Um, so maybe it's... Yeah, maybe we, uh... Maybe we get a new game plus or something. Um, yeah, so that is gonna wrap up this episode of Sticks. It's good to be back, good to be playing again. I had some fun. Um, I felt like I played pretty solidly, didn't get caught, uh, killed a few people. And yeah, we finished up the atrium. So in the next episode, we are going to head on over to the governor's apartments. That way we can try to get the only key that allows access to the world tree. Um, and we will continue exploring and trying not to die as I fail it still. So that's going to be it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching and have a good one.